Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. While everyone else is talking 9.2, we are instead going to be talking about critter shapes. Yeah, look, don't judge me on this one, but I love running around as a corgi. Hmm? What's that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. In game, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> Let's just get into this. So soul shapes have been in the game since the launch of Shadowlands. It's the utility ability for the Night Fae Covenant. And through various means you're able to gather different appearances for this soul shape. Be it through dungeons, raid bosses, world bosses, PvP, and so on. But in 915 we gain the ability to use critter shapes. Now these aren't usable in dungeons etc because at the end of the day you're just a tiny critter. And come on. Us as players, we're just going to get up to all sorts of shenanigans trying to skip things if we were able to use that in dungeons. So instead, we revert to our larger soul shape in that situation. But while in resting areas, have you ever fancied looking like a frog, a squirrel, a cat? Don't answer that. Of course you have. In total, there are 15 critter shapes that we are going to talk about now. Now first up, the noble squirrel. This is a nice and simple one. It is the default appearance for the critter shape. If you're interested in using it, simply head to Chofa in the heart of the forest. There you can select your first and currently only critter shape. Next up, the mighty chicken soul. This is a fun one to do. If you watched my video the other day talking about the Druid travel forms, I spoke about how I wished we had more interesting little quest lines. Just fun little side things to do, especially for professions. Well, this is that kind of quest. So first we need to head to Darkhaven in Revendreth. Once there we need to go behind the stables <clears throat> and look for spectral feed. Now you may need to wait around a little bit. The feed spawns for about 10 minutes every hour. Uh, only three Night Fade characters can loop the feed before it disappears. More on that in a second. But now that we have our feed it's time to head to old Dead Blanche. I mean, to give it its correct name, it's technically the end of my, but it's literally right where Blanche spawns. There you'll see a lost chicken sitting upon a fallen log. Once in range, do forward slash chicken, then give food you collected, and this critter shape will be yours. Now for the cats. I say cats because there are actually two options for this one. First up, we have Slim Cat. In Ardenwald atop the dream trees, there can be found the lost soul of a cat. If you're wondering what the dream trees are, they are the giant, massive trees dotted around Ardenwald. So far, the confirmed locations for Slimcat are Dreamsong Fen, Glitterfall Basin, Turinvau, Burnian Hollow, and Claw's Edge. Upon locating the Lost Soul, I will say this, it's generally just go way up to about as high as you can possibly go, and the little cat is just right at the very top of the tree, so don't worry about looking around the base. Just simply target the cat, do forward slash soo, and this will reward you a quest item that's basically to fly back to the heart of the forest, hand it in, and the cat shape will be yours. Little note here, as soon as somebody has clicked and soothed this cat, it will disappear and reappear at a different location somewhere else among the dream trees. Now, is Slim Cat not carrying enough timber for you? Do you like your cat to be a cross between a nice ginger tabby and Gallywix? Then this. Is a soul for you. Fat cat. Or as Blizzard call it in 2021, well fed cat. This can only be collected once you've collected the previous slim cat form. Upon collecting sim cat, you will get a new NPC called Moa. They will be asleep next to the Queen's Conservatory portal over on the right hand side of the portal. Using forward slash meow, he will respond with Moa meows at you hungrily. Yeah, you guessed it, we're off back to Roman Draft to collect more spectral feed. From the same location as we got the chicken soul feed from. Side note here, if you are lucky enough, you can complete both this and the chicken soul in one hit. Simply feed the chicken, head back to the feed. If nobody else has clicked on it, you will be able to collect another bag of feed. I would say it's a huge help here if you have your hearthstone already set to heart of the forest. Simply click it, back to the heart of the forest you go. Then return to Moa, feed him, and you'll gain the fat cat appearance. Now this one is one of my personal favourites. Maybe the easiest to gain, but I just love the look of it. 
Walking around inside the heart of the forest is Sparkles the Corgi. All you need to do is target this little fella and do forward slash pet. You'll get a nice little response. Sparkles will bark excitedly at you. And that's it. You don't get any quests or anything. So you may not think you've done it right. Just simply head to Chofa and the Corgi Crit Shape will be yours to use. A Cricket is up next. This is Rickety Cricket. Hey -o. Uh, nope, not that cricket. This cricket is more of the garden variety. It can be purchased for 15,000 anima and 25 grateful offerings. This can be purchased and used without needing any reputation requirement. The frog is up next. Somebody fish in Shadowlands and you have a chance to gain this critter form. This does lead nicely into our next one which is the otter. This requires you to play with an otter in Bastion. Spawning once every one or two hours near Hero's Rest, you'll need to forward slash hug the otter and the soul shape will be yours. The reason this works nicely with the frog is because you're waiting so long, there is plenty of time to go fishing in the pools underneath Hero's Rest and hopefully gain yourself the frog shape. Side note here, once hugged, the otter will despawn after five minutes. So be a pal to your fellow Night Fae and shout it out in region if you do manage to find and hug the otter. Granted, <clears throat> people may look at you a little strange announcing that you've just hugged an otter, so you know, up to you. The porcupine soul is gained via the wild hunt paragon caches. That is all, thank you. Prairie dog soul can be purchased from Master Clerk Salon. They may say, well, yeah, that's because they're in charge of the Star Lake Amphitheater. This one will cost you a cool 10,000 anima. This one is another fave, not because of the soul shape, but because of what is required to gain it. We are talking the rat soul. Unless you are very well geared, you're going to need a group of friends for this one. Once you have your party, you may venture forth into Tazavesh. Kill the first boss. Then afterwards head outside and approach the pet vendor. You're probably going to need to clear some trash along the way for this one. Once approached you'll receive a whisper. Psst, hey you, unassuming visitor, do you like small creatures? Now normally I would say ignore and run away from anybody that whispers you something like this. But in this case we are in fact going to reply to them with forward slash yes or forward slash nod. You will then be able to purchase his wares. Be warned, you will need some very specific items for this one. Now first up, 735 gold, that's easy enough. Next, two Sinvar lockboxes, gained from mobs in Revendra. And then two Stygian lockboxes, gained from the mobs in the moor. Once your transaction is complete, the Rat Soul is yours. The Sarid Soul is available from our old friend Janny. You remember Janny? Yeah, Janny that used to hang out in the junk piles of BFA. Yeah, you'd be correct in thinking, but hey Grim, there are no trash piles in Shadowlands. You would be wrong, my friend. Simply head to Mardraxis and the cave that's used for the world quest forged in secrets, located here. Once inside, simply bow to the trash pile and this soul will be yours. Last two coming up. The Sorolisk Hatchling Soul requires you to complete a Torghast 9 plus or above flawlessly and have access to the Adamanta Vaults. Once inside, the final boss has a chance, not guaranteed, to drop this soul shape for you. And finally, the snake. This soul has a chance to drop from your standard cooling boxes. Currently, it appears all boxes have a chance to contain the snake, no matter where they're based from. But wait! There's more! And this, yes, this little cute bunny fellow is the reason this video was delayed. Because literally last thing, last night, it was announced, <gasps> we found out how to get the bunny soul. Right when I was rendering this video. Thanks for that one. Simply it requires you to complete a pet battle daily. It appears currently the only to be rewarded from Arnhem Ward pet battles. But I will say this is very early to say that with any certainty. And that's our list. There are still more to be data mined. A lot of them are believed to be from time walking, but they're not 100% concrete yet, so we'll just make another video once we know exactly where they're going to come from. On a personal note, collecting these appearances feels a lot like uh, Hattie from Legion. I'm not sure that people are going to want to give them up kind of once Shadowlands is over. And much like Hattie ended up becoming a questline, so hunters could go and 
Retrieve Hattie and save her soul. I feel like we're not. This isn't going to be the last we're going to see of these soul shapes. So maybe we'll gain the ability to use soul shapes only when we're in a capital city, a rested area. It just feels like something that people are going to want to see continue beyond Shadowlands. Especially if we're now going to go to the Eternal City or Haven or whatever they're going to call 9.2. We're going to head there and we're going to gather even more potentially of these soul shapes. People have put a lot of time and a lot of effort into collecting them. But not only that, also into the team designing them and giving us something fun. These little quests to go along the way. It would be a shame. Be a real shame if in this sort of new era of Blizzard that another fun thing is simply dropped when an expansion is over. Then less time on borrowed power and more time on these fun, interesting things that will live far beyond the expansion that they were dropped in. Side activities that can continue expansion to expansion or transcend expansions is what we need going forward. I don't need to collect more AP. I want to be collecting fun things. I want to want to log in, not a reason to log in. But that's enough from me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Myself and Cuddles will be talking about 9.2 tomorrow. So expect to see that one drop. But yep, I will catch you all in the next video. Ladies, everyone.